What's up guys, Big J coming back at you again today. And today we are going to be going over the TFV8 Cloud Beast. Okay, I got it on my Hobo uh, <laughs> Smoke uh, Alien 220 here. But uh, I'll give you a little sample, 120 watts. And burned as crap. That's why I never trust... Um, the best at <laughs> this is I forget which coil this is um, this is the 0.15 that says it'll run anywhere from 50 to 260 watts but it's best at 120 to 180 watts bull pucky that's 120 I just took a rip and it burnt yeah no so I'm gonna turn that down bull I hate burn hits. Let's try it at 75. All right, that's a little more manageable. So yeah, let's try this again. So at 75 watts, let me take a rip. Much better. So yeah, um, there she is. A couple uh, specs and techs for you. It's a 24 and a half millimeter tank. Um, on the Alien, I don't notice any overhang at all. I mean, I, if a half a millimeter, okay, sure. Uh, it is a six mil capacity tank, and trust me, you will need every milliliter of it because with these freaking cores that they have in them, it eats juice like it's going, like it's at a buffet. I mean, it's going out of style. As far as the box goes, comes in a nice box. Normally has a sleeve. Don't know what happened to the sleeve. Open it up, bang, got your little insert, and then you've got all these little pockets in here. And I will show you what comes in all those little pockets. All right, so you are going to get a pre-built RBA section that they did. Um, I believe this one ohms out to a .15 as well. Uh, looks like they have some clapping coils in there. Um, along with that, you're going to get a little baggie of cotton to wick that bad boy. Uh, you are going to get another .15 coil. Um, this one is rated between 50 and 180 watts. It says it's best at 90 to 150. That is a big coil, boys and girls. And then the one I have in here, I believe, is the octuple dealio um like i said that's rated between it's a 0.15 again rated between 50 and 260 says so it's best between 120 and 180 that is a lie now maybe it works a little better for you but ooh, that was a little gnarly for me um your other bag of goodies you're going to get extra o-rings you're going to get extra grub nuts for the rda or i'm sorry rba section you're going to get an adapter to pop into the top here, you can pop this mouthpiece out. As you can see, that is not 510 compliant. Um, you will get a little adapter in here that you can pop in to make it 510 compliant, and you will get an extra gasket uh, that goes on top. You'll get an extra white gasket like this, in case you ever rip it, break it, whatever, you get an extra one in here. Uh, let's see what else you get. You get your little wrench, um, your little Allen key to work on your RBA section. You get the nifty vape bands. Um, those are great, uh, but they're so much glassier. If you drop this thing on the floor, it's probably breaking, which is why they provide an extra glass, which is cool. Um, you are going to get your how-to book. Uh, you are going to get your warranty card and you are going to get your bag of silica gel. Most of you throw this out. Stop doing that. Every time you get silica, okay, save these suckers. Put them in a little container, okay, a little Tupperware container or whatever. Leave them in the freezer. Leave them wherever you want. Um, you can leave them in the closet, whatever. Keep these, okay? You ever drop your mod in the water? It gets rained on, whatever. It starts to act weird. It's just like a phone, okay? The reason they put these in here is to keep moisture out of electronics. All right. Put 
these in a tub. If your mod or something gets wet, put the mod in the little container of the silica gels and wait. Okay, it's just like rice. It will, it'll suck the moisture out and maybe you can save it, maybe you can't, but it's worth a shot. So anyway, moving on. I'll give it another rip, just cause. Now, obviously the cloud production is there, which is why it's called the cloud beast. The flavor is okay. Um, that's at 75 watts. I'll bump it up to, let's bump it up to 95. It's definitely not a cool vape, or a warm vape by any means, uh, at 75. It's not really a warm vape at 95. I'm scared to go back up to what they recommend, because like I said, that was one hell of a dry hit, and I hate dry hits. Um, it does have the dual Cyclops airflow at the bottom, which these airflow holes are, are massive. Um, it does have the little flip top design to fill your juice. Now, man, I just did it a second ago. Yeah, that's my only complaint about those is I have to look around and flip it. Um, but it does lock in nice and tight. My only other complaint is this doesn't necessarily want to stay in all the time, but that could just be me. But yeah. In my opinion, the flavor is a little better in the Baby Beast, but I think that's what that was designed for. Um, this is designed, obviously, more for the clouds, and it does do that. Like I said, it will guzzle juice like a champ. It will eat your batteries like, an, like a freaking champ. Um, but hey, man, if you want to kick out some clouds, TFV8, man, do it. Uh, I should have the TFV12 coming in a couple days, so I'm going to put that review up as well. Actually, I think when that gets here, I have all of the Beast line of tanks. So I'm going to do a review of the um, Baby Beast, the Big Baby Beast, the TFV8, and the TFV12. I'm going to give you, let you know how flavor, cloud production, all that good stuff is. So there you go, boys and girls, the TFV8 Cloud Beast. If you want to kick some clouds, get one. So yep. Yeah. Hey guys, Big J. Just want to say thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you want to help me out, give me that thumbs up. Share my content. Um, subscribe, man. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe. Um, lots of new stuff coming in the future. Uh, some new faces. Some obviously new product. Um, man, if you have any suggestions, drop me a line. I'm more than willing to try anything. Take it easy.